A new report shedding some light on John Durham's investigation into Crossfire Hurricane, what many people consider the Russia hoax. Durham has spent roughly $3.8 million over the first year of his probe. Are we getting a good return on that investment? Let's welcome in now from former Trump campaign foreign policy advisor and Newsmax contributor George Papadopoulos. George, always great to talk to you. Great to be here, John. Thank you. All right, so the report says Durham spent the money on travel, salaries, benefits, computer services, and uh, litigative support since October of 2020. What is your level of satisfaction with what we're learning from the Durham, what we've heard so far from the Durham investigation? I, I think uh, the John Durham investigation is going to end up being one of the most consequential investigations in modern American history, quite frankly. Uh, we, we can't forget that this has been a, an investigation that has actually uh, outlasted Bob Mueller's um, useless investigation by, I think, around two months now, with a quarter of the um, financing to go along with it. What John Durham has actually done over the last couple of years is present the world, not just the American public, but the world, a grand mosaic of facts and evidence in which he's essentially obtained from the CIA, the FBI, the State Department, and even foreign governments and what those facts are leading to is a grand picture that the entire Russia collusion hoax was manufactured by not only Western intelligence figures, U.S. intelligence, but the Clinton campaign, but the Clinton campaign itself. And this is exactly what I think John Durham's entire investigation will eventually showcase is the dangers of what happens when a government puts its fingers on the scale of both justice and the truth in an attempt to subvert democracy. And that's something that I think echoes not only during the January 6th um, which I uh, comments, which I believe uh, should be condemned by uh, both President Biden and Kamala Harris, which essentially draw a moral equivalency between the event of January 6th and the worst terrorist attack in American history and a uh, low-level riot that uh, resulted in one death, and that was Ashley Babbitt. So I think this is exactly what John Durham is doing, and um, it's something that the American people uh, should be proud of thus far, and I think we still have a long way to go. Yeah, we got the indictments of Igor Danchenko and Michael Sussman among the people that are facing criminal charges right now or have faced criminal charges. But I think what you mentioned is so important, George, and I wish we had more time because we only have about 30 seconds here. Uh, but we, we see how opposition research for political purposes was used to, to support this. Not only were the CIA and the FBI involved in this, but also foreign uh, governments helping them. Uh, so, I mean, I think there's a, a lot of fallout still to come here, but just a couple more seconds. I mean, this is going to be going on for a long time. I mean, the Iran-Contra investigation lasted for like nine years. I, I think the American public should let John Durham, and not only the American public, I think the American public wants this investigation to continue. I think Attorney General Merrick Garland should simply stay out of the way of John Durham, let him continue this investigation, allow the evidence to lead to the logical conclusion of wherever it might be, whether it's a conspiracy theory or whether it unveils the greatest political scandal, scandal in modern American history. Americans demand transparency, and I believe John Durham is going to give them that. All right, the uh, man of mystery, John Durham, another man of international mystery, my good friend George Papadopoulos. Always great to talk to you.